How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber video. And first of all, I just want to say if you guys don't know about it yet, I am giving away a 2021 AE calendar code for AQ Wars, Epic Duel and AQ3D. So if you guys play any of those three games and don't have a 2021 AE calendar code yet, do go ahead and go to my channel. Okay, go under the community tab. And right there, there is a post. In fact, it is the latest post right now. You can see a Gleam.io link. You guys can use that link to enter. There are two ways to enter. One is basically just visit my channel. And apparently, I can't do the subscribe option anymore because of uh, YouTube's new policies. And the second thing is you can just tweet about it on Twitter to get another entry. So, max of two entries per person. The contest will close <coughs> next Sunday. So next Sunday, I'll be picking a winner. Do go ahead and join there if you haven't already, if you want to stand a chance to win the 2021 AE Calendar Code for any of the three games. Alright? So, uh, without further ado, let us jump into this week's release. One third teaser rook. Okay, another odd job has appeared on the Serene Inn's odd, odd jobs board. Seems that these... Seems that something is hunting in the swamps. Something terrifying. You can access this week's quest teaser rook from the odd job. Uh, odd jobs bought in Book 3 Falcon Reaches uh, Serene Inn. Coming next week, Book 3's main story returns as the heroes find themselves ever closer to the Doomwood Rift. Wow, very exciting to see. Alright, so let's go over to the Odd Jobs Inn. And yes, I'm back to using Doom Knight because I'm currently farming for the Time Warp Meadows in the Inn at the Age of Time. But um, I'll be switching back to Dragon Bite Epoch soon. Alright, so, so Tizou, okay, to any brave souls, we have received disturbing reports of a series of disappearances at a local swamp. Reports describe people getting dragged into the water by an unseen force. Please, do be careful. Now, the stuff here, uh, the side quests here, they all give very good stuff. Hide behind, obviously giving you the hide behind cloak. Best for healing, best for MPM blocking. Drop best, uh, not best head for not best helmet for healing, but best for MPM stacking as well. Harboring an alien that gives you the flying saucer belt, and that one uh, gives you the best uh, question mark resistance. Okay, you know the one we'll call it void. Best void resistance. Okay. So I wonder what will Tizarook give us? Let's take the job. Oh yeah, and bandit bounties obviously give you a bunch of gold as well as a chance for I think getting some defenders items. Is it? Defender's Medal, sorry. I can't really remember. Uh, yeah, so we'll want to use Light or Fire over here. Our Dragon will elementalize it to Light. <coughs> so we we'll use Ultra Omni Knight. Let's do Corrupt. Easy. <coughs> oh! Oh, do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, maybe it's better to use a fire weapon. Most stuff are weak to fire here, right? Okay, let's elementalize it to fire. Done. Oh, wow. Will we get eaten? <laughs> okay, wow. Very cool. And you can see this thing moving down here. What's it going to eat next? Nope, nothing. Okay, it's moving upwards. Let's fully explore this place, shall we? So we are just going to move around here. Okay, this is a... I think it's based off the... Uh, the lake map in the uh, Amityville storyline. Okay, so I'm not sure if it is the same map or a different map, but let's go in. Let's go take a look around and see. We're just going to take our time, explore the map, see if there's any other hidden Easter eggs around it. They should be looking out for. Okay, so this one will just do spikes. And yes, I do not have any mana chain, so I should be a bit more careful about my mana. this the ending already okay i don't want to go to the end point yet i i don't know if that is the end point but we don't want to go there so soon so let us go ahead and explore other parts Ooh, okay
Pretty simple monsters, I would say. Then again, I'm using the most OP class in the game, so... Yeah, let's see here. Okay, a healing pad here. Hmm, interesting. Okay, go up here. So I found a healing pet so far. I wonder what other secrets lie in the zombie map over here. I really like this cool looking thing that's moving around. Okay, so just... Ooh. Tizero. The Tizero shifts into the shadows. In shadows. Plus 300 avoidance. Oh, okay. So he's going to do that. We'll do seek. Let's do shield. So obviously the same artwork as the drop bear and the hide behind. Oh, whoops a daisy. Oh, it still has that avoidance thing? Man, that's annoying. Uh, is a permanent 300 avoidance? What? Is it? Guess we can rely on seek, I guess. Plus 300 permanent avoidance, wow, that is not fun. So what, must we wait for it to get... Okay, it hit us, but it's not... We're not getting anything either. Hmm. Guess I can only use Seek to take it out. Wow, that, that kind of sucks. Leaves the shadows. Oh, okay. He does leave the shadows eventually, but you have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait. <coughs> yeah, and this guy dealing pretty high damage. Let's do bind. Oh, wait, did he? Yeah, he did that again. Okay. Yeah, this guy hits hard. Okay, we'll do life calf. We'll do seek again. God damn it. Okay, so the trick here is to shield, 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 and shield. Alright, so get a more defensive class. That will definitely help you in this quest. Uh, if you don't have a more defensive class, then this is probably going to be a problem for you. Alright, I'm just going to use barrier right here. So it don't take too much damage. Did it leave the shadows yet? Nope, still in the shadow. So we just have to wait until our freaking... Uh, seek skill recharges and then we can use it again. This baby dragon just got super lucky there. Oh man, critical hit. That's not nice. Okay, he's done. Oh wait, that's the end already? Whoops, maybe the other part wasn't the end. Okay, so let's check out the loop for these seas. Zero skill, crit 15. Oh, main stat minus 10, bonus 15. All plus 10 though. Interesting. Is this the new... I don't think it is. Let me take a look here. Uh, Shattered Amulet. No, cause it doesn't give main stat, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Not best in slot for anything, that's for sure. But, if you're looking for all plus 10 resist necklace, and you don't have the Defender's Dragon Necklace, then this is the best in slot for uh, resistance, I guess. Yeah, so this could actually be useful for people who don't have the Defender's uh, Necklace yet. But if you already have the Defender's Necklace, then obviously you want to use that over this. And the fact that it just recently reduced the cost of uh, the Defender's Necklace shouldn't be that hard to farm for it anymore. So let's see if we get it. Uh, nope, didn't get the max level one. Let me just go and try the quest again. Okay, so let's explore the quest a little bit more. I feel like there's probably more stuff that we haven't seen yet. Let's go all the way to the endpoint see if we find anything different.
Okay, so the Tizuru, it's a pretty hard monster. I would say 300 avoidance with boost um, with your own, even with dragon boost and your own, uh, what do you call that? Uh, even a dragon scout, sorry, and your own uh, bonus skill if your class has any, you are probably still not going to hit it. So I think the best way to take care of it is to just shield, wait for it to come out of the shadows, and then uh, burst it. Okay, but it only comes out for like one turn or two turns, I think. So yeah, you have to keep shielding it and maybe like blind it or something. Okay, uh, obviously get a class with healing. If you don't have all the gear that I have here, then maybe you want to use the... What do you call that? Uh, I think Dragon Lord would be a good class for it. It has some healing, it has a lot of defensive skills. Ancient Exosuit if you have it. Technomancer is pretty good as well since you, you can use overclock for that. Uh, are we going back the same way again? Wait, hold on. Let me explore the other side. Let's explore this side. Three of them. Okay, uh, we'll do favor and then we'll do the multi spike stun. So let's do boost. And man, I am really digging this color scheme. Are you guys seeing this? It goes so well with these uh, white wings. Of course, I wish the wings were like, uh, you know, dark uh, black with a tinge of red. So that'll make it even better. But man, this color scheme looks so cool on Doom Knight. Don't you guys think so? Okay, so another monster gets eaten up there. Okay. Oh, if only I chain magic. Maybe dragon will be able to one shot a lot of things. Okay. Oh, okay. So it goes in a loop. The previous time we didn't explore all the way, right? Go up there, see what they have. Oh, favors cooldown is not. It carries over between battles. Interesting. I did. I only just found that out today. I haven't used this class in a long time, and on top of that, I don't really use favor much. Oh, I didn't know it carries over between battles. Oh, okay. So you can't enter this part. Well, I thought you can. This used to be the end point for a lot of quests. Okay, guess you can't. Let's see what else we can find in this quest. Uh, I think we went through that side before, so let's go to this side. Yep, let's go here. Let's see what we can find here. Blood. Maybe should I use Corrupt? If Corrupt uh, has at least one crit, it'll take it down in one turn. Or maybe I should just use Spikes. Keep in mind, this is also not the best fire weapon in the game uh, because, you know, I'm doing some NDA stuff with the challengers. So yeah, this is an NDA fire weapon. Okay, another healing pad here. Nothing nothing really much. Okay, so we've got two healing pads scattered throughout the quest. I guess that's kind of nice. And you should definitely go ahead and heal up before the main boss fight. Is there nothing else to this quest? So this thing goes in a loop. I think we've explored all the areas already, right? Oh, whoops. Forgot the dot doesn't kill it. And these monsters have pretty high HP. Yep, I would highly recommend Technomancer for this quest, whether you're a DA or a non-DA. Okay, so this is the boss fight. And I guess it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just follow where the thing goes in the water and then it'll lead you right to the end straight away. So that's the fastest part of com uh that's the fast part about completing the quest. You don't really have to run around in circles, which I guess is kinda nice. If you just follow the shadows in the water, so yeah. And 
Yeah, that's way really all there is to it, I guess. Oh, this one heals MP, doesn't heal HP. Okay, interesting. I suppose the other one heals HP, if that's the case, but... Let's just complete this quest again. And see if we can actually find the... Yep, okay, so let's go and see if we can get the 1190 version. Alright, so go into the shadows. I don't really care because I can use my seek skill. Let's do dragon scales. Okay, not going to affect me at all. That's fine. And I'm going to just regular attack, I guess. I can try with scout, though. I don't think scout will do anything. Okay, let me just use my void barrier. Okay, reflecting damage, very nice. Let's do seek again. Leaves the shadows. Okay, now it's our turn. Let's do corrupt. Minus 30 light, minus 30% BKH. Eh, okay. Overcharge. Uh yeah, right, we can't hit it. We can't, we still can't hit it. Okay, let's try Lingering Doom. Okay, nothing. Yep, they have managed to hit it. That's fine. Let's do Tickles. Seek again. Nice. Leave the shadows once again. Alright. So I guess you can try bite. Maybe you can stun it. But even if we stun it, we still won't be able to hit it, right? Wait, can we even stun this guy? Oh, I mean, it's 150 mobility resistance. With Technomancer, you can stun it. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter for Doom Knight's Malefic Binding since that it ignores all the immobility resist anyway. Okay, done. Now, right, level 90 version, please. Nope, level 30. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this quest. Uh, two healing spots, one for HP and one for MP I suppose. There's nothing more to the quest other than the boss monster and we just want to finish the quest as quickly as you can. Just finish, just follow the shadows that is moving around in the water and you'll reach the end point. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host Koryban Gaming. Peace out.